opening up the project that we created in the last lesson. We go to File, Open Project. This should open a dialog box where we can look for our project. Uh, if we can't see it immediately, we can choose it from the list of uh, drives and folders available. In this case, my project is visible here. The project was called Introduction, so I'll double click on that to open it. Now I'll see two more little icons. If I double click on the second of these, which is VB written on it, it will open the project. If the form doesn't appear immediately for you when you open the project, go to the Solution Explorer window on the right hand side and double click on form1.vb. At that stage the form should appear. Now we'll set some common properties for the controls that we created earlier. So the first thing we need to do is decide on which control we want to change the properties for and select it. So I'll begin with our button. And when I select the button, if we look at the properties window, we can see that BTN push is the name that appears there, so the properties that appear in this window are the properties of BTN push. And the first property that I'll set will be the color of the button. And the pr property that controls that is back color. So if we click in back color and then click on the down arrow here, we'll see a number of options. And if we click on the custom tab out of those options, we'll get a palette of colors and if we want to make the button background of the button yellow we just simply click yellow and our button changes to yellow. We can also change the color of the text on the button by going to the four color property a little further down. Again click on the property then click on the right arrow to see the colors and again if I click on the custom tab and this time I'll choose a dark blue and now the color of the button of the writing on the button changes to blue. So you've seen that these two properties the back color and the four color can be set for our button. We can also set the same two properties for each of the other objects on our form. So for example if I take the label and select it, I can change its back color to red, again in the same way as we did for the text box but making sure the label is selected. There the back color is changed to red and Let's change the color of the text on that label by changing the four color property. And if we change the color of the text to be white. We can do the same for the other controls also and for the form itself. Another property which we can set for some of our controls is the enabled property which determines whether a control can take input from the user. Let's change the value of the enable property for two of our controls in the form and see the effect. So let's take our text box first of all. So I'll select the text box, go to the enabled property, click on it, and if we click on the little down arrow we'll see that there's two settings, true or false. By default it's set to true but now we'll set it to false and see the effect of that. Let's also set the enabled property for our button to be false. So again I need to choose the button then go to the enabled property, click on it and choose false. Now both of these controls have been disabled by setting the enabled property to false. If we run our program let's have a look and see the effect of that. So we click on run And now if we look at our text box that appears for the user we can see we can't click in it to enter text or if we look at our button when we push the button there is no effect. Both of these controls have been disabled. We can just close our form and return to our design window. Sometimes even though we place a control on the form when we're designing it 
we may not want it to be visible to the user at a particular time. So the property that controls that is the visible property. Let's make our list box invisible to the user when we run our form. So we choose our list box, go to the properties window and change the visible property for the list box. Right at the bottom there, take the visible property. It's set to true at the moment, meaning that it will be visible to the user, but if we change it to false, it will be made invisible to the user. Even though we can still see it here, when the form is displayed to the user, in other words, when we run the program, we'll see that our list box can't be seen. And there we go. The list box is invisible at the moment. Later on, we may write instructions that would make it visible again. Again, we'd close our form and return to the design window. So in this lesson, we've been changing some of the most common properties of the controls that we use on our forms. So just briefly to recap, if we choose our text box, TXT student, the first property we set was the name property. We did that in the last lesson. In this lesson, we've changed the back color property, the enabled property. In the previous lesson, we changed the font property. And in this lesson, we've changed the four color. Another property which we changed was the visible property. And finally, a property which we have used on some of our controls is the text property. These would be the most common ones that we will use in writing our programs. In the next lesson, what we will do then is write some instructions that will encode which will allow us to change properties.